Hey everybody, welcome back to Simple Outdoors. Beautiful day for camping. It's 4th of July week. A couple other sites up there that I usually go to are occupied. But this one isn't. I just have to go back to the car and get my uh, stuff sack and my cooler. I got the car to firewood, I don't know. But, uh... I guess this is going to be camp for the night. So I brought my backpack with me instead of bringing the cart just so I can walk easily to see if someone was occupied here. But it's uh, first come, first serve. So uh, got the outhouse box over there. Oh, breeze feels nice. So I'm going to get this backpack off, set up the tarp probably the tent and the chair just so I can reserve it there's only a couple cars in the parking lot I'm a little parched because it's 80 degrees out 85 degrees out today almost probably 30 degrees Celsius somewhere around there I think oh okay well if you recognize this spot this is where I did the survival challenge last year I believe now I just have to find some level ground. I remember over here I had the tent, but I, it was sloped downwards and I was sliding. So I'm thinking over here where it's uh, nice and flat, kind of. This is the only spot. Move a couple of rocks. Have a nice view of the, the lake and go from there so let me get this backpack off drink some fluids here set up a couple of things and go back to the car well as you can see it's pretty windy i had a heck of a time putting this tent up pretty windy here oh there goes my chair i don't know how I'm going to set this tarp up because it's supposed to rain later this evening. And I wanted to test out a new tarp. It's pretty big. I think it's a 12 by... There goes the chair again. Set those on the chair. Man, it's beautiful though. Wash my face in the water. Bugs are out. I got everything in there as usual. Some sleeping shorts, sleeping bag, the foam mat, air mattress, a couple pillows, raincoat, my fan. It's a little too windy for the drone, I think. I could try, but I don't want to risk it. We can see. So I'm going to relax for a little bit and try putting this tarp up and see where I want it. I know I can do uh, these two trees here and those two trees and the fire pits over there and it'll be covered right here. I'll try that. I'll do some ridge lines first clip them with some carabiners under the tarp and we'll see got some tent poles so I'm gonna relax for a few minutes and then decide how I want to do the tarp well I've just been relaxing for a little bit still windy man I just don't feel like putting up the tarp yet I got the monster coffee going so got the tent all squared away got the bear canister my cooler with some ice 
I put ice in it at uh, a couple hours ago and uh, it's all melted now. So just uh, organizing some stuff here for the table. I got the firewood over there. Tarps and ropes right there. Finished one, uh, oops, <laughs> be nice if it was facing me, huh? Finished one bottle of juice. Got some water from home, but I got the water filter. Another juice here. I got some root beers, Diet Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and a couple of these coffees. Uh, beautiful though. I guess I should uh, I guess I should get this tarp put up now. It's just such a hassle with the wind it's like a parachute. They all are. Brought the cart, that Walmart cart. Oh yeah. Walmart cart broke. No wonder it tipped over. It lost a bolt on a bracket last year. And then I guess today it lost another bracket bolt. Hopefully we'll make it back to the car tomorrow. But I just brought it for the firewood. But it's convenient where I can just throw my backpack and my stuff sack and my cooler right in there and pull it back but it's all rocky on the trail all right let me uh, relax for a little bit take a look at that, uh, that bracket on the cart and figure out what I want to do with this parachute tarp so I'll bring you back well that was uh one heck of a challenge. Got the tarp up. Just have to do one one line at a time. Got the poles. I can actually stand up here. There's a few weeds here, but I might move the cart and move the chair and table over there. A little windy. I gotta check the weather. Got everything organized. Water's probably cold. Could go for a little swim. This flies are out. It's so windy that the thermocells probably won't work anyways. Yeah, I can stand under here. It's great. I think it's the first time I put a tarp up where I can actually stand straight up under it. Well, I think I'm going to relax for a little bit. Maybe wash off in the in the water. And just move some things around over here so I'm not sitting in this tall grass. Well, I'm having the Starbucks caramel. I flew the drone for a few minutes, but it was uh it was struggling. It had a hard time with that wind. Uh, I filmed just a couple of minutes. Um, and for some reason it wasn't getting a lot of GPS on it for some reason today. Uh, neither is my phone either. Uh, still beautiful though. So I'll see uh, what kind of footage I got from the drone. It was only like maybe 10 minutes. Especially when you get up into the air. And that, that thing only weighs a couple of ounces, so... It, the wind was pushing it back that way but I got everything situated I got the top oops I got the towel and the shirt drying gotta watch out for these guy lines oh, nothing like having a nice ice cold ice coffee in the afternoon with the wind by the water. Pretty 
cloudy. It says uh, they're going to get rain after 8 o'clock. It's after 4 now, I think. Uh, but yeah, I have the tarp, I think, backwards, but it was so windy I was just putting it up in a hurry. Because uh, these ones, I think, should go in the back down and peg down to the ground. But it'll stop the wind a little bit if it gets a little chilly later. It's going to drop down to 67 at night. Uh, I had a root beer before I flew the drone. Now it's just to... Uh, do some relaxing camping maybe get some firewood I mean I got a whole thing of firewood here but probably cut some of those find some small ones yeah there was two people two cars parked at that parking lot and this was my original first choice to camp at and no one was here second would be down the trail a little bit um, to site number two someone was already at site number one the one that I normally go to that's easy still got the barrier up across the lake um, there was a camper in the little parking lot there a couple of cars with some kids and I brought a lot of stuff, so I didn't want to uh, just try to fill one backpack and walk 20 minutes up to that, my favorite spot. But the ice melted in the cooler, but it's still nice and cold. And it's in the shade. You could probably put it in the water. The water's probably colder than the air. Got some, uh, got some snacks and desserts, some noodles, a uh, mountain house meal, got some uh, ketchup and uh, those sausages, probably do it over the fire or the pan, I'll see, I'm not hungry yet, it's uh, almost 5, I got here late today. It was uh, the last minute, it was a last minute thing. Last night I was uh, saying, you know what, I'm going camping tomorrow, which would be today. So I packed everything up in my bag and uh, late last night, charged all my electronics. This is a heavy pocket juice. I only brought this one to charge the fan, my phone, and don't really need to charge any camera batteries because uh, I got like six of them. Sometimes, depends on how much filming I do, I only go through two two batteries. In the winter time when it's cold, I go through about four. Well, I think I might collect some firewood and just feel like relaxing. The best relaxing video I think I did was uh, the ASMR, no talking one, but it didn't get a lot of views. My stealth camping video didn't get a lot of views. I thought it would. Uh, it had uh, less views than uh, most of my camping, wild camping videos. I'm going to try to do the store challenge for July. Uh, we'll see. With that wind, the bugs are still out. Alright, I'm going to sit and relax and see if I can find a little firewood.
Well, I'm done cutting firewood. I rinsed off in the lake. Just having a root beer. These are tiny. There's no ice in the cooler, but it's still cold. But I got some frozen ice packs from my freezer at home. So that probably did the trick too. It's been windy non-stop. It says uh, rain around 8 or 9. I don't know if I hear thunder or if that's just boats or planes, music, I don't know. Still nice out though. So I'm hungered down if the rain does come tonight. I just looked at the radar and uh, it might miss us. It might not around 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Still a little windy. I don't know. I'll wait until probably a little later. If it starts sprinkling, maybe I'll start a fire. Get that roaring. But uh, I went all up in there. There's still lots of firewood up there, but I'm not getting any more. Oh, carbonation. Whew. Mm, excuse me. I remember uh, in the winter time I had a root beer and I made uh, ice cream with the snow, clean snow, and made a root beer float. That was great. I can't wait for winter again. You can stay warm if you're cold, but can't stay cool if you're hot. In the winter time I like it's my favorite, I think. No bugs. Hold a sled, make ice cream. People are still out on the boats. All right, I'm gonna probably relax, decide on what I wanna do. I'm not hungry yet. I mean, I don't eat till late anyways normally with uh, work and then I don't get home till late and then I get something to eat when I get home or bring something home. And that's late at night. I think my belly's all full on root beer right now. Ooh. But well, oh, excuse me, that carbonation. Ooh, oh, they're tubing. Ah, lots of guy lines. They're like rafting tubing out there. Water is still cold. Lots of boats out right now. So they're still out. Oh, look at the sun, sun rays shining through the clouds. camped on that point on the island last video when it was a hundred degrees and my favorite spot is right there over on that point all gone I got more there's that long trail that I walked down I lost a screw, a bolt, on my bracket on the uh, part of my cart, so hopefully it'll stay, stay for the ride, ride back down that way. Still beautiful. All right. When I got this tarp, I didn't realize it didn't have any straps on the outside of it so I could pull it up off of the tent. But 
it's not uh, it's just touching the rain fly <sighs> wish this long grass wasn't here so I gotta sit down there over here well It's too windy. I don't really want to have a big fire. So, let me uh, figure out what I want to do next and I'll bring you all back. Well, here's some interesting uh, behind the scenes stuff that happened uh, that I didn't turn the camera on for. The walk in when I was pulling the, uh, the cart it was filled with firewood and there was a divot and it tipped over and the firewood spilt everywhere on the trail not too far right over here but still so I loaded it back into the uh, to the cart and uh, moved about a couple feet tipped over again so I had to uh, take because I had my cooler on top of it too so it probably was a little top heavy but never had a problem before so that was one thing and then uh, the other thing is, is I just changed my socks and I tipped over and when I was changing my socks I had my shoe off and I went to step on the ground and I stepped on this stake which is not sharp but it's not soft on the bottom of my foot on the ball of my foot all that hurt and that just happened no blood no just a little scratch but oh man so that's uh and then uh, the bolt, where's the bolt? So that's probably why it tipped. No, it didn't tip over for that seat. Yeah, there it is, the bolt. Come on. And see, that bolt's gotta go. That bracket's gotta go in there. So that uh, bolt came out. And then uh, a bolt under here somewhere. Yeah, bolt on in there came out. That was an old one. This bolt just came out today. So that's uh, things that happen that uh, a lot of people don't usually see. <sighs> Collected firewood. I haven't really relaxed much. So my socks were a little wet so I had to change them and stepped on that darn tent peg. Ooh, that hurt. It's okay now, it feels better now. All right, so now the wind died down a little bit. Might be the calm before the storm. Ah. Maybe time for another iced coffee. I know I just had the root beer, but well, I could Use some of these small sticks, start a fire, and go from there. Oh, a nice little fire going. Nothing too big, just slow burning wood. Everything's organized and under the tarp, hunkered down for uh, the rain if it does come tonight. Still beautiful though. Sun's just peeking out from the clouds there. I don't know the sunset tonight. It gets dark around 9.30. Just love the sound of the water and the waves.
There's not much of a sunset because of the clouds, but I flew the drone up once more. It's still a little windy, but I only did a few minutes of that because there was like a bird, large bird, like a hawk or something, trying to chase it and grab it. So it went after it once, and then I lowered it and brought it back. And then uh, he did it again, so I lowered it and came back, and then I had enough of that. But there's the sunset. It's almost 8 o'clock, I think. Still don't know what I want for dinner or when. Still nice and beautiful out here. And maybe some rain later. I gotta check the radar again. There's the path. A couple other campsites were occupied. That's okay because this was my first choice when I wanted to uh, come out when I decided last night. It's the 4th of July tomorrow. And then I'll go home tomorrow. Well, alright, I'm going to sit and relax for quite a while. Cheers, everybody. Man, these are tiny. 7.5 ounce. Fire's uh, going pretty good. It's just a little too warm to sit next to that. And then some of these sweat flies. If I sit underneath the tarp, thermocells don't seem to be working. Uh, I know one hasn't been working properly. It's getting gas. It's just not pumping through, I don't think. Just barely. I got uh, two others at home. Well, I got one more of those and then two of the patio round ones at home. Might as well start bringing those. I know those ones work pretty good. They're just a little round and tall and bulky. These ones are a little flat so I can shove them down into my, my bag. It's about 8 o'clock. Yeah, my phone antenna's not working. I think I need a new phone. Don't get too much uh, service out here. Sometimes, wherever I go, I, it's the antenna in the phone. It's old, 2019, iPhone 11. They're all junk. Way too, uh, way too pricey for what, what junk is these days. Beautiful evening, other than these flies. 
but I've been sitting here for a while and I got up to stretch my legs and I saw these raspberries They're a little wilted. I think uh, I think that's what they are. Yeah, red raspberries. Well, I could probably get some coals going on the fire. Fire's pretty good. And maybe start doing some sausages. I'd have to find a stick, you know, that perfect stick for the snossages. Yeah, the fire's going pretty good. Oh. Fire's nice and warm. Just been relaxing by the water for a while. Seems like it's been a long day. With the the carp tipping over twice with the firewood. The bracket breaking on that. Stepped on my bare foot onto the tent peg. It was quite a long walk. This site's quite a long walk from the uh, from the car, but it's a pretty much clear path. There's two trees that are fallen, so we, I had to go around with the carp. I had to go around go around one of the fallen trees with the carp. One's leaning up so I could go under the other one. Boats are still out there. Well, I think I could either use the frying pan, but the plastic coating on the handle might melt. I put it in the fire, but that'd be all right. Do it on the stove or find a stick for the snossages. I'll figure it out. Well, tomorrow's the 4th of July. People are setting up fireworks. A little windy. I got all the lights on. Fire's going pretty good. These lights are attracting all of the little bugs. So it's time to make some sausages. I didn't bring any plates with me. I got the jalapeno cheddar sausages again. All right. I got the buns. I got the ketchup. You know what I could do? The lid make sure it's recording because half the time today it wasn't recording for some reason it's, it's recording use this lid for a plate good good all right I don't think that's thunder, I think that's fireworks. Okay. Sorry for the bugs flying around. Look at that. Oh ho ho. And uh, I forgot the ketchup because I was in a hurry where I packed everything last night and this morning. So I stopped at the gas station. They had little packets, so I just went in and used the bathroom real quick and grabbed a handful of these. Ketchup. There it is. Look at that. All right. Take some of this bread off. Mm. 
use this. A little windy, that breeze feels nice. Kit Kats. Fireworks. Had like a six pack of root beer. Yeah, I don't see, I don't think you can see. Nah. So fireworks for 4th of July, which is actually tomorrow. It's a Thursday. Three day weekend for me. Because we're off Thursday. Mm. I say this every time, but when it gets dark out here, it gets dark. That hit the spot. Uh, well, I'm going to clean up a little bit. If I sit by the fire. If my phone will work, maybe some watch some videos. Well, I'm just watching some videos on my phone. The fire is going pretty good. A lot of moths and stuff out here because of the lights. Uh, I'm pretty full from those sausages, so I don't know if I'll have snacks or anything. But it's almost, uh, almost time to climb into the tent in a little while once that fire dies down. Still got maybe five or six logs still left in the cart. Maybe for tomorrow morning. I don't know. I've uh, just been sipping on a little juice and relaxing. Breeze feels really nice. It hasn't rained yet. It's almost 11. Fireworks stopped by a while back. So that's about it. I'll probably bring you back in a little while or when I'm in the tent. Something like that. And I have a little Kit Kats. Try to watch a couple videos on the phone. I got like five or six logs left in the cart. Maybe I'll put those on. But it's getting a little late. And uh, I was a little full from the sausages. But time for dessert. So I'll probably see you when I'm in the tent. Or if I'm relaxing by the fire. We'll see. Well, I don't have much cell service. It's one o'clock in the morning. The fire is pretty much out for the last piece of time firewood. It started raining a little while ago. I'm probably just going to sit here and relax, enjoy listening to the rain. Uh, the cell service isn't really working for my videos on YouTube. The antenna, I gotta get a new phone. So, I'll see you when I'm in the tent. fan on. I'm in bed now. Obviously the fire's out as usual. It's been sprinkling, raining on and off. I'm just going to be watching a little videos here. Uh, it's in and out. You know, like I said before, my phone. 
with the antenna. So, if nothing happens exciting during the night, I'll see you in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I slept okay. I was a little sore, I think, because I was just, you know, doing a lot yesterday. Plus this small mat, this small climate V-static green climate mat. I think that's what it is, yeah. The static V from climate. It's only two inches. So... It's, uh, it's okay. It was uh, had too much air in it, and then I took too much air out. So then I'm like, ah, forget it. I'm going to take some Motrin. Get out there, make some coffee. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today again. But, beautiful day. Boats are out there. I woke up. To the sound of birds but other than that my fan worked okay I slept really good I'm gonna go out there and uh, get ready for the day oh, is that the jet boat good thing I got up before he came out butterflies over here I don't know if you can see them yeah I don't know what kind of butterflies those are uh, they're just flying around they're probably warming up after the rain last night. Got to have a little fire before I go. Just had a few little sticks left over and a little fire starter cube. Might as well do it. And then just making some coffee. It's gonna be pretty warm today too. So I'm just gonna let this water boil. Folgers instant today. Well, even with a couple of mishaps yesterday, it was a nice camp. I stepped on that tent peg, changed my socks, that hurt. The cart broke and tipped over, but should be okay on the way back. A couple little twigs and some butterflies. Well, I'm going to sit and relax and enjoy my coffee. <clears throat> and you know, my favorite part is packing everything up. Nothing better than having a nice hot cup of coffee in the morning by the water. speedboats. Uh, I'm going to relax for a little bit. And then start packing everything up. But I stayed nice and dry in the tent. Nice and cool. Lots of airflow. I do like this tarp. 
Butterflies are still gathering around. They're mingling. They're having a 4th of July party. Family reunion. Alrighty. Let's do this. Well, everybody, that'll do it for this video. I got everything packed up, ready to go back to the car. Be probably about 10 minutes pulling that broken cart with me. Beautiful day. Beautiful 4th of July. It's another 80 degree day. So I'm gonna head back up the trail if you guys want to see more stuff like setting up my gear, showing my gear, breaking down, might be a little longer video, but comment down below. Excuse me, comment down below and let me know if you want to see that. Setting up the uh, sleep system, all that stuff, tearing down. I usually don't film because I just want to get it done. That's about it. So I want to thank everybody for joining me on Simple Outdoors. Hit that subscribe button if you're not and share it. Hit the like button and the bell for all notifications. But YouTube's funny. Sometimes it doesn't uh, do uh, recommended videos on there. They're, they're weird sometimes. But hit that bell for all notifications. Maybe you'll get uh, notified when I post a new video. Oh, I don't want the day to end. But I don't want the camp to end. But got to go back to work tomorrow and the whole weekend. Well, I'm going to head out, so thanks everybody for joining me. This has been Simple Outdoors. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Funny if they made uh, a Top Gun movie with voiceovers, but instead of the planes, they're butterflies. <laughs> Bogey, six o'clock. Flares, flares, now, now, now. That'd be pretty funny. Oh, there's my alarm. My alarm means time to start packing up. Nothing like having a hot cup of coffee in the morning. 
by the morning. Yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say.